This is Fairmont Senior High School in Review. The year is 1961. I am Jim Nestor, your narrator. Remember the first day of school when the sophomores wandered around lost and bewildered, and the juniors took the day as a matter of course, while the sophisticated seniors walked around like they owned the world? Well, that was how it started, and our first assembly program found Chester Conrad, our student body president, saying these familiar words. Let's all stand for the Pledge to the Flag and remain standing for one verse of America. After that, E.W. Malcolm, our principal, made a few remarks. It is always a privilege and a pleasure to welcome you once again to Fairmont Senior High School. It is our hope that you have come with a sincere desire, for we believe in our school, and as we grow to know each other, it will become a stronger school because we have been here. There are very few regulations that you will be asked to follow, for we will go on the assumption that we will all work together for our mutual benefit. Will you please attend school regularly, conduct yourself as a lady or gentleman, and give your best at all times. In following these few rules, you will grow to be proud of our school, and our school will be proud of you. We are looking forward to a wonderful year. Before we knew it, football season was upon us, and the autumn leaves swayed in rhythm with a melody that was music to our ears. There was much enthusiasm, too. Our cheerleaders, Sally Evans, Charlotte Smith, Mikey Wilson, and Dodie Jenkins, were busy promoting school spirit with this type of lusty yell. Next thing we knew, it was October, with the Junior Carnival being one of the big attractions. Junior class president Tom Eddy had this to say about the event. This year, the junior cl class had one of the most successful carnivals ever held in the school. The climax of the day was the crowning of Larry Tucker and Sheila Minnell as Carnival King and Queen. The class also sponsored numerous bake sales, car washes, a spaghetti dinner, and of course was in charge of the junior senior prom. That same month, the student council went all out in sponsoring the first homecoming for our school. The queen was lovely Sandra Dyson, a senior with blonde hair and blue eyes. Her court consisted of Sally Mercer, Tama Blankenship, Roberta Cosner, and Barbara Connor. Here comes our pretty queen now. How did you feel when you found you'd been elected as our first homecoming queen? Oh, I was just thrilled to pieces. It was the happiest moment of my life. I was so happy and excited. Suddenly it was November, and on Veterans Day, our football season was climaxed with the annual East-West game preceded by a parade. As it happened, this wasn't our lucky year. Jerry Sabo, senior fullback, summed it up like this. After beating our crosstown rivals for 10 straight years, we lost this one to the tune of 14 to nothing. Our football season ended with three wins, two ties and five losses. December came and with it the sounds of music and Christmas preparations. Classrooms were filled with holiday decorations and throughout the halls we were entertained by the French clubs singing their carols and in French at that.
Then came the Angel Swing, the annual Christmas dance sponsored by the Kiets, and lovely Beverly Zimmerman was crowned Miss Angel. School then recessed for the holidays with the beautiful and impressive assembly program. Thank you. 